Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Richard Williams, who's CEO at Cornish Metals. How are you today, Richard? I'm very good, Zach. Thanks for having me on. Right, quite an exciting time for you and your company. Uh, but uh, first, uh, uh, I presume the clue is in the name, but uh, what's Cornish Metals all about? Well, Cornish Metal is a company um, that was started in its current form in 2015. Um, it was a concept put together by a, a group in Canada called Osisco Gold Royalties that was looking to create a company focused on high quality tin assets and certainly assets that had the potential to be long life uh, mines in production where Osisco could benefit from a royalty. And so I joined the company in 2015 and we started looking at various projects and the standout to us was uh, South Crofty in Cornwall, located in the town of Camborne and Poole. And so we acquired a package of mineral rights plus the South Crofty project in 2016 and we've been working there ever since. So at this point, we've got to the point now where we're looking to list the company on AIM. Uh, raise some money and work on a new high-grade copper tin discovery that was made at a project called United Downs. Well, I mean, uh, copper has uh, been a lot of excitement about copper since the um, the pandemic started, and I suppose most hard assets. Uh, I've, I think most of us would have read about tin now. Tin being near seven month, a uh, seven year high, rather seven month high, uh, seven year high, and uh, it's sort of part of the whole I don't know Biden Green Revolution and all the other revolutions that are happening. Um, is, is is tin uh, the sort of the new the new gold as well? Well, <laughs> I like that. Um, I'd like to think so. I, you know, I think a lot of people have a very uh, old fashioned view of tin. Um, you know, historically tin was used in tin cans and tin roofs, but it really is essential to the electronics world. Anything with an electrical connection has some level of tin in it um, in the form of solder. So anything with a connection has tin. And it is referred to as the glue in the electronics world. So it has an important role to play as sort of economies have this big push towards electrification and, and carbon neutral economies. And um, we're, in, we're speaking in the run up to your proposed AIM listing. Uh, why have you decided now in uh, January 2021 is, is the time to be on the London stock market? Well, we, we were working towards this through most of last year. And we were hoping actually to try and start marketing before Christmas, but there's, there's a lot of work involved to get to this point. Um, since we've pulled the trigger on marketing, obviously the copper price has appreciated quite a bit over the last year. Tin price has appreciated and, and the timing is perfect. And the other thing that's, that's really helped us is seeing the end to Brexit. And it just clears the way forward for us to get listed here in the UK and get exposure to the UK investment community. And in terms of uh, United Downs, um, the, what's the project and the potential there? Well, the, the initial project that we acquired the Cornish projects for is South Crofty. Now, United Downs is an area uh, about eight kilometres to the east of South Crofty as the crow flies. It's in a district that was known as the Gwenap Mining District, which was very well known globally in the 1700s and early 1800s as the producer of very high grade copper. Um, there were two mines in particular called the United Mines and Consolidated Mines, which were producing copper in excess of 7% grades, which is extremely high. Um, last year, we announced the discovery of a high grade copper tin zone about 100 meters below surface, which returned uh, a width of almost 15 meters at almost eight and a half percent copper and 1.2 percent tin. So that's exceptionally high grade. And we think it represents an opportunity to, um, to hopefully develop a new mineral resource that can be put into production uh, in this same area. Right. And um, the, there's a lithium angle as well, which uh, some people might find as exciting or more exciting than uh, copper tin. Uh, what's your uh, exposure there? Well, when we acquired the Cornish assets, one of the first phone calls we had was from Jeremy Rathall, who runs Cornish Lithium. And Jeremy had this 
concept that uh, Cornwall being underlain by large granitic bodies was potentially the source uh, for lithium in geothermal or uh, brines fluids. And so we reached an agreement where Cornish lithium can explore our mineral rights for lithium in brine. And we get exposure to any success that he has. We get a free carried interest of 25% on the first project on our mineral rights that he takes to completion of a feasibility study. And uh, he's done a fantastic job. He's really shed the light on what, what, what could be a, a completely new angle for Cornish mineral resources. And he seems to be having some good success. So you've got, a, in a way, another, well, you actually got a, a, another string to your bow. It's not all about copper and tin. Yeah, the opportunity here for new investors is really exposure to copper, tin and lithium. Uh, all three metals are essential in this kind of new high tech economy that we're all pushing towards. You know, when you look at renewable power, um, basically construction, in, you know, post COVID and all the stimulus spending that's come in, the electrification, electric vehicles, they're all going to need copper, uh, lithium and tin. So we, we're well positioned for that. And the idea here is that you could have a domestic source of those metals in the UK. So uh, no uh, queuing up at the border uh, for various uh, <laughs> commodities. Um, right, so we just started the year. It's, as I said, it's an exciting time for you. It's going to be it's, it's going to be something to look forward to over the over the near term in terms of being on the market. But uh, for the, for the rest of the year, what do you, what what can we expect? Well, we're cu currently in the midst of marketing. Um, you know, ho the objective here is to be listed by the end of February, subject to a successful roadshow. And use of proceeds from any funding that we raise would be to, to start drilling at United Downs within the next couple of months. Uh, and the objective of that drilling is to outline what the resource potential could be. And if everything goes well, hopefully we'll see um, a new mineral resource estimate come out from the United Downs project over the next 12 to 18 months. Okay, and so, I mean, the long-term plan, apart from uh, sort of sizing up your, your resource, uh, in Cornwall, are there any other moves, any other acquisitions you might make, uh, any other ideas that you've got uh, in the back of your mind? Well, there are a, a number of the mineral rights that we own in Cornwall have also got very good exploration potential. One of the standout features of Cornwall, in my mind as a geologist anyway, is that you've got this mining history that stretches back to the Bronze Age. Uh, there are something like 2000 documented mines in Cornwall but very little in the way of modern exploration has been conducted to look for new mineral deposits. And that's really highlighted by this discovery of the copper tin mineralization at United Downs, which is just hundred meters below surface. So we, we think with some, some success for ourselves, it'll just attract more investors into the region. Um, and, and really the objective here is to bring in modern mining technology into an area uh, that has seen a long history of mining, but still has a lot to offer. So it's a mixture of uh, the, the demand from the, the, let's say, the new economy and uh, new technologies, and plus your new, new technology and uh, geological skills um, coming through in terms of, or geologist skills coming through uh, in terms of Cornwall. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think security of supply is becoming a more prominent theme in the world. Uh, ethical supply of materials is, is certainly something that most shareholders uh, look to for companies like the Apples and Panasonics and Samsungs of the world, you know, just to ensure that the materials that they use are coming from ethical sources. And we believe in Cornwall, we can meet all of those demands. Well, let's see how it all pans out. Thank you very much indeed, Richard Williams, CEO at Cornish Metals. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.